first thing we have to do is install the storage API module. It has a base module called storage and a, a sub-module called CoreBridge. CoreBridge allows file and image fields to utilize storage API for file storage and serving um, via stream wrappers. During installation, it creates uh, a very simple configuration. It creates an everything class and it creates a file system container, which is really just a, a directory. And this file system container gets added to the everything class. We can see the configuration here. We have the everything class and we have the file system container. And here we can see the directory that is being created and then the URL that will be used for serving from this container. The next thing we're going to do is create a content type called image. And add an image field. Drupal supports two upload destinations by default, public files and private files. A problem with this is that once you've uploaded a file to one of these destinations, it's very difficult to move the file to the other. So if you upload it to private, it can be difficult to, to move it to public and vice versa. With Storage API, as long as you've selected storage class here before the file is uploaded, then you can actually change the storage API class at any time and um, files will be migrated with eventual consistency. So let's create an image. check with Firebug that it is being served from the correct directory and we can check our configuration here we have we now have two files in the directory uh, one was the thumbnail and one is the source file 